All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Houston Rockets Daily. My name is Jackson. I post daily Rockets content, so hit that like button, hit that sub button if you enjoy it. Today, we're going to be talking about James Harden coming to the Houston Rockets. My boy Swaggy left a question. Going to cover this in our Nets next Let's Talk Rockets video, but I was scrolling through the internet today, and I saw this article. Uh, it was like hypothetical situations. James Harden rejoins the Rockets. Now, I want to say a couple of things really quickly before we react to this article. If the Rockets, if I should say James Harden declines his player option with Philadelphia and becomes a unrestricted free agent, basically what Houston can offer him is four years, $201 million. So it would go in your first year, $46.9 million. 49.2 in year two, year three, 51.5 million. And then in the final year where he would be 37 to 38 years old because he turns 34 in, what is it, this August, it will be $53.9 million for a 38-year-old player. Now, just as an example, if you take a look at a team like the Phoenix Suns, is Chris Paul at his age right now, what is he, 38? Is it a good contract right now? No. No. Would they have good finals chances without Chris Paul? No. Would they have gotten to the NBA finals without Chris Paul a couple of years ago? Probably not. Up until this year, Chris Paul was like three straight all-stars. And now, you know, it's kind of like Kyle Lowry where it's just age is getting there. So that's to be expected with James Harden. But if he can stay healthy, we will see like, you know, at least two good years of Harden in Houston. And also, before we get into this article, keep in mind that Houston, this upcoming season, has a projected $56.2 million cap space. So you would be able to make this move and then make a couple of other, you know, more low-key moves. So let's just get through this article and then we'll talk about it a little bit more. All right, James Harden rejoins the Rockets. This is on Bleacher Report, by the way. Uh, signing a soon-to-be 34-year-old doesn't quite jive with the timeline of the Rocket squad that has finished bottom three record. Blah, blah, blah. There's no urgency for Houston to start winning now. It's first rounders are OKC in 2024 and 2026, which sucks. Um, uh, landing Harden is the first part of that process. Houston has Harden has strong ties to Houston. Um, the ramifications of Harden leaving would reverberate around the rest of the NBA. There's no way he's rejoining the Rockets to play a mentor to a bunch of kids. Houston would be obligated to go second star hunting with a mix of youngsters and future draft equity. Ergo, Harden's arrival would mean at least one other red carpet name is on the move. Wow. All right. So they're just going right at it. Um, you know, I, I really love the idea of James Harden returning to the Houston Rockets, just especially as a James Harden fan. You know, we're seeing him in the playoffs right now. You know, he had like 40 points in game one, wasn't great in games two or games three, but then has another 40 piecer in game four. But James Harden's role now is more of a distributor. It's more of a pass first. Um, you know, we're seeing pretty similar free throw attempts per game as his OKC era. So James Harden is still putting up 20 points. He should have been an all-star this past year. He definitely got snubbed. The thing is that Houston that we have to keep in mind here, if we go for James Harden, is Jalen Green, Open Shangun, Jabari Smith Jr. It's a good timeline as far as you don't have to pay necessarily Jalen Green or Elpern Shangun for two more seats until they're off their rookie contract. So you have this kind of two-year gap where you could go out get Harden. You could go out and get guys like Seth Curry, Brooke Lopez, fill it out with veterans, get rid of the loose change, guys like Usman Garuba, big Usman Garuba supporter and fan. But, like, it's they're going in, they're going in, and they're going to have to cut off some, some guys like K.J. Martin Jr. I don't think he would have uh, much of a future if they were to get a guy like James Harden. Uh, what would the second star look like? You know, Jalen Brown has been discussed a lot. I would love Jalen Brown. Um, you know, Chris Middleton comes to mind. I'm pretty much all set with that, but hopefully you get the point here. What sucks is, you know, Houston's been like the worst team for three straight years. So if you get James Harden, are we immediately winners? You know, that's like the big question here. Um you know, if I had to give a yes or no answer on a James Harden reunion with Houston, my gut says, let's do it. My heart says, or my head, sorry, says eh, financially, it doesn't make much sense. 
You know, it just doesn't make much sense. I would rather have hopefully a top three draft pick if you get a guy like Scoot Henderson at pick number two going moving forward with Jalen Green, Open Shangun, Jabari Smith Jr. See what we have there. Sign some high reward type of players like Cam Johnson, who said to hit free agency. There's just a bunch of what ifs in a James Harden reunion. Um, but I fully trust in Raphael Stone and I trust in this Rockets organization. So if James Harden does in fact decline his player option and Houston makes him an offer, well, I think he would choose Houston. And I would, I definitely wouldn't be complaining if James Harden comes back to the Houston Rockets. So, yeah, um, you know, Kevin would hit the bench. I'm curious if they would cut off. Kevin Porter Jr. or dangle him as some type of trade piece. Curious what that would look like. The only point guard controversy is having no point guard controversy. So Harden would hit the starting lineup. KPJ would hit the six-man role, which I think he is better suited for, more tailored. His game is more tailored for a guy you can just go out there, go in with the bench unit where you're playing up against the bench unit. You know you're a bucket. You know you're better than your opposing whoever's guarding you. And, uh, you know, go get me 15 to 20 off of the bench. I think that's Kevin's perfect role. I don't know, man. It's tough. I ran a poll on Let's Talk Rockets Twitter, and it was you know, like 67% of people said bring James Harden back. So it seems like Houston fans are pretty on board for this idea, and I want to gauge interest in a video. We haven't posted a video here in like a month, so I apologize. We are doing live streams, though. So if you haven't seen, we're doing Let's Talk Rockets. It's at least once a week right now. Once the NBA playoffs come to an end and we have the draft lottery uh, the draft combine, all that stuff's coming up soon. We'll have the, the draft will be here before you know it. And that's when we're going to start really ramping it up. But Let's Talk Rockets is available on streaming platforms. Figured I would let you guys know that. But, you know, it's the off season, So we're about to get into pretty much everything off season. You know, I think Kevin Porter Jr. talk is going to happen soon. I think we're going to do some Jalen Green evaluations, some Alperin Shangun evaluations, just evaluate the whole team. And, uh, you know, try and get a gauge on what Houston should do in this upcoming offseason. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Nothing crazy. Feel weird reacting to a Bleacher Report article. But I felt it was a nice preface before I do, uh, you know, let's talk Rockets and have a Houston tougher, hard into Houston segment in that. So that's it for today. Hit that like button. Hit that sub button for daily Rockets content. Uh, but, yeah, more importantly, if James Harden declines his player option this upcoming summer, should the Houston Rockets go after soon-to-be 34-year-old James Harden for a reunion?